What is up everybody, Michael File Sage checking in here today. Today's video is a repost of a video I made in September 2022 on my old channel. In this video, I discuss some, though not all of the issues with Core that we can face, such as inaccurately measured bricks and the supplementation of trichoderma in some brands of garden and core. I also briefly discuss how to get the ideal moisture content in Core, along with other Core tips such as what to do if you accidentally bought trike enriched Core. Now, I have been meaning to make a more comprehensive video about core for some time now, but this will have to do, uh, at least for now. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get back to the video. What is up, everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here. Uh, this video is actually about this new brand of cocoa core that I got, okay? I've never tried this, so I can't speak for it or anything. And now that I have long since tried it, I can tell you guys it wasn't very good. Um, there was lots of sticks, there were lots of leaves, I found some insect eggs in there, and that's the problem with cheaper core. Along with the fact that cheaper core usually has a lot more uh, salt in it, and that's no good. So definitely get some good quality tried and tested brands of core, uh, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, it's just going to make your life a lot easier in the long run. And if you want to be totally safe, then I would recommend, well generally is a good rule of thumb, uh, when in doubt, reptile bedding core is going to be better than gardening core in general in this hobby. Uh, mainly because it's going to be cleaner, uh, there's going to be less sticks and you know leaves and all that kind of thing. Alright, back to the video. Um, but basically, I bought this core because it doesn't have any other, like, it doesn't have any nutrition or anything uh, sprayed onto it as far as I know. As you can see, it says peat brick. It's not peat. A lot of cocoa core brands will actually brand their cocoa core as like a cocoa peat or, you know, they'll put the word peat in there. And that's because uh, for people who are uh, like growing vegetables or whatever, you know, gardening, um, cocoa core is basically a more environmentally friendly alternative to peat. So that's why they put pre uh, peat so, you know, gardeners will easily pick it up uh, and understand what, what core is all about. But also, uh, you know, in the past, uh, before core was widely used in this in mycology, uh, people used to use peat as one of the primary bulk substrates. So just an interesting fact. So yeah, so I decided to try this one, right? And um, and the main purpose of this video is to is, is to tell you the importance, right? Because a lot of a lot of you guys already have like you know maybe you'll you'll uh, you already have a ratio, right? So one block of core to X amount of water, right? And you leave it in a bucket or on it in a tote or whatever. Um, but here's the problem with this, and I will show you guys. I will show you guys the problem. So these these bricks are supposed to be 650 grams each, right? Let's see. Okay, 654 grams. All right, a little higher. That's okay though. It's not too off. We can live with that. All right, 676 grams. That's a little high, right? That that's uh. That's quite a bit higher. And let's see, over here, we have 653 grams. All right, this one's on point, okay? And let's see, this one. All right, this one is 600 grams. Okay, that's quite a bit below the mark there, all right? And here's the last one. All right, 663 grams. Do you guys know what I mean, right? This is why it is vital for you guys to always measure out how much your core brick weighs. Because remember, they just picked this up from like the floor of a coconut processing plant, right? It's not from clean environments. Uh, I'll get to that in a little bit, coconut core and trick and all that, you know, that's a whole other discussion, but I'll get into it later on in this video. But this is why you should always measure it out. Now, for those of you who don't know, right, how to measure it out, basically you take the dried weight of the core, okay? For example, this one, all right, now multiply this by five, okay? And that'll give you the amount of water, the volume of water in milliliters that you need to hydrate this with to get uh, close to carrying capacity. Having said that, a lot of people seem to have a problem with the one to five ratio in that it always comes out too wet for them. I personally have never had this issue across all the brands of core that I have tried. For me personally, it has always come out a little on the drier side, but if you are having this issue, I would recommend a 1 to 4 ratio to be safe. It is always better to have less water than too much water as it is much easier to add more than to take away. All right? 
Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Now, of course, different brands of core, even different batches of core from the same brand could have, uh, you know, different moisture content requirements. Uh, that's something you're gonna have to do with feel. Quick tip, uh, the only time I use vermiculite for bulk grows now is only when I um, spawn and if, 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 the, if there's too much water, right? If I overshot the water content, which doesn't happen by the way, because like, it, like this formula has never let me down. But um, if you do miss it, right? Let's say that you, you, you didn't weigh this and you got like an overly moist substrate, right? In that case, you could just mix in a bunch of vermiculite, mix it up, the vermiculite will absorb a lot of that water. You could mix and match. And that's, that's a very useful way to use vermiculite. As many of you know, I only use core. All right, no gypsum, no verm, just core. Um, and it works, it works just fine for me. Uh, so yes, and now onto the topic of trichoderma and core. I know many of you guys are worried about trick. And you know, here's the thing, right? So core, usually they're, they, they, they don't market this for mushroom growers, right? They market this for, you know, people who are growing plants and uh, gardeners basically and stuff like that. Uh, so, so, you know, they want to tell you like, they, sometimes they'll advertise, oh, with enhanced, uh, enhanced with uh, trichoderma, right? Because it helps the root growth because the trichoderma uh, colonizes really quickly, like the roots and that out competes like all other fungi. So the roots can basically focus on growing the plant um, to put it to succinctly. And uh, so, so, you know, they're gonna put it like as if it's a good thing. Now for fungi growers, a lot of us are gonna be freaked out, but here's the nature of it. You got right guys. So uh, obviously if they actually really are enriching, like putting a bunch of trichoderma spores in there extra, obviously that's not a good thing. But here's a matter of fact, right? Core is already chock full of trick spores. It is full of trick spores, all right? Um, what I would be more worried about is like added nutrition or something, if, they, if, they, if such core exists. Uh, you just want to get the most basic core. And that's why I picked this one. It doesn't have like anything, you know, bad uh, that, that I can see uh, written on it. <laughs> so that's why I, I, I chose to buy this brand. All right, I don't know if this brand is good. It might be crap, who knows, all right. Um, but uh, yeah, basically trichoderma, it's full of trichoderma. So core, right, it doesn't have nutrition. Basically, even though core has trike spores, it is not as big an issue as some make it be because it is nothing that a simple bucket tech cannot fix as trike is heat sensitive. Not to mention, trike spores are everywhere and the way to avoid trike is to have good, clean, healthy spawn. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you get contaminated from just using core, 99% of the time it was your spawn that was dirty. Of course, there's trick spores everywhere in the air anyways. It's on your clothes, it's everywhere, right? So if you get trick in your tub, that, you know, trick is really good at finding opportunities and moments of weakness, right? Uh, so for example, if your spawn is bacterial, there's some hidden bacteria, then when trick likes to attack is for example, after like the, after a flush, maybe after the first flush, after the second flush, after you harvest it and the mycelium is recovering and recuperating its energy, to focusing its energy for the second flush, all right? That's when trick likes to attack, okay? And the trick is already in the core, right? But if you have healthy, clean spawn, right? I've kept core tubs going for four months. I have never contaminated a core tub. I have never, I've tried guys. I've never contaminated it, right? The only time I contaminated it was when I purposely used bacterial spawn and spawned it to bulk. It produced beautiful for the first two flushes. Obviously it stank awful but but after I, I got two great flushes before contaminating all right and that's when the trick got me so that's basically it so obviously you don't want enriched core uh like if they're actually adding extra trick spores it's just unnecessary and at that point i would properly pasteurize it if that's the kind of core you have you know like putting it up to around like putting it up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, no more than 160, right? Put a meat thermometer in there, basically proper pasteurization, not bucket tech. Then you'll be fine, right? That's not to say that bucket tech won't work, but just to be safe, proper pasteurization will be the best method for trike enriched core. But for regular core, bucket tech works fantastically fine, 100% of the time, pretty much. For, for 60 minutes to an hour and a half, I'll make a separate video eventually on that. 
Really, it's full of trick already. Just focus on keeping your spawn clean and just try to get the most neutral core that you can. You know, because some brands will put that this core has trick, right? This core is enriched with trick, even though they didn't actually add any extra trick sports. It's just that it's just the very nature of core is full of trick sports. Also though, it's worth keeping in mind that a lot of the big name brands, not all of them, but a lot of them, actually the bricks are sterilized out of the factory. Uh, but the question is which ones are, are and which ones aren't. That's the question. So it's good to always do bucket tech at least. That's just how this is. So, um, you know, and, and to be honest, I'm not fully, I don't know which side I'm on on the debate about, oh, you know, enriched core will cause contaminants. Because look, some people say that it does, but then I also don't know how clean their spawn was, right? There could have been a hidden contam. Um, so just... Uh, from my personal experience with core, I haven't had a problem, but then again, I didn't use core that said enriched with uh, core, uh, with, with, with tricks. So if any of you guys have, uh, well, obviously I don't know if your spawn was clean anyways, but you know, uh, <laughs> leave a comment and uh, let me know about your experience with uh, enriched uh, trick core. <laughs> it's kind of hard, I, I keep getting those mixed up, I know guys. So that is a video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, recently my YouTube community posts have not been making the rounds as they have before. So every time I release a video on Patreon, a fruiting video, I would make a community post to let you guys know that a new video has been posted on there. But because the algorithm is not picking it up, the word is not getting out. So I just want to let you guys know that I have posted some new videos on there. And for those who don't know, all the videos are free. But if you would like to watch them a week early, the five and seven and a half dollar tiers will let you see those videos as I release them. Plus support my work on this channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or night. Michael File Sage, checking out for now.